This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Geico asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, Geico can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners' or renters' coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance, and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today. Hey, all, it's Miles. Thank you guys for listening to the Men's Room Daily Podcast. Have you heard our newest podcast? It's called The Greatest Story Never Told. Download it today on Radio.com. Be sure to subscribe. New episodes are uploaded every Tuesday at noon. The debauchery rolls on. You're listening to The Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. 99.9 KISW. Three of deduction, by the way, the red lobster meal. Yeah. That lovely lady was eating. Uh, the three shrimp. Uh, that would be uh, fried shrimp. Oh, scampi? Scampi. Yeah. And maybe coconut shrimp is an option. We're guessing. We, we didn't know. look. Do you think it's steamed or coconut? The shrimp trio. Oh, right. so I know it's got to be fried shrimp and scampi. Okay. And then it's got to be coconut I'm shrimp. I'm guessing oh. coconut. I'm saying grilled. Grilled? Ooh. Okay, not we're going to have to look this bad. up here and find out what is I'm actually a- on the... Uh, yeah, sadly, when lobster. I went to a kid, I was like, this scampi stuff's unbelievable. I remember my brother being like, will you stop it? It's just butter. <laughs> and garlic. <laughs> right. right. And parsley. But like, I mean, like, French for everything was going in there. He's like, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming up, we will uh, drink and toast into the weekend with a shot of the day that is Bad Choice Friday time. You know it's Bad Choice Friday. It's Bad Choice Friday. You know it's Bad Choice Friday. Hey, man, this is your fault. Damn all. Oh, the Grammy-inspired Bad Choice Friday featuring Adele. Adele won record of the year back in 2011. Man, time flies. It's been a decade. I know. That's crazy, isn't it? Taking on the 1995 winner for best rock song, that would be Alanis Morissette. Here's how you vote on Bad Choice Friday. Follow us on Twitter at Men's Room Live. One of those two tunes coming up right after we drink a toast with a shot of the day. On a question, one time I made a little side money doing blank, and here come those emails from the men's room at KISW.com. You've got mail. Yep, yeah. You've got mail. Come on from today, guys, for a couple of years, mainly around Christmas time, I used to buy Nerf guns at garage sales in secondhand stores. Then turn around and sell them for five to ti- uh, ten times what I paid for them on eBay. In a sense, I was a gun runner. That from Sean. <laughs> Guys, back when I was in college welding, uh, it was a few weeks before Valentine's. I decided to weld up a bunch of homemade, handmade roses. Sold them for 80 bucks a piece in total. The material cost me around 20 bucks, and I made about a grand. Rock on, bitches. That's from Justin. Mm-hmm. Guys, I worked in a popular car wash in Tacoma. We were allotted a free car wash for every employee every day of the week, two shifts per day. If you got a customer, they used cash, and you didn't think they would ask for the receipt pocket, uh, the cash, ring it in as an employee wash. We also sold weed at said car wash. <clears throat> Give the guy at the register the money for the weed. The guy on wipe down gave you your weed, which looked normal, as you generally would get a tip from that window. Bonus points if you rang the employee wash with a car getting weed. Mm, very nice. As we move on to the birthdays, what's up, knobs? Uh, missed Ava's birthday on Wednesday. Uh, Flynn's birthday is today. Maybe give Flynn a uh, fish sandwich, please. Two or I get a fish sandwich. And Noel's having a birthday tomorrow. The beautiful mom of all of them is uh, of an unknown age is on Sunday, so we can't uh, wish them a birthday. But we can wish Flynn a birthday today. Huge fan of the show. That from Dave the Rock Slinger. Hey. Guys, today, could you please give a birthday shout-out to my amazing boyfriend of five years, Wes. He turns 29. I asked him, what do you want for the big day? The only thing he wanted was a shout-out from the guys on the men's room. <laughs> I am to please, and I am happy to make his birthday wish a reality. He's an amazing man who makes me smile and laugh each and every day. So, could I get a big old Leroy Jenkins, a cut-that-bitch-off next color, and a big old bong rip, please? That from his loving girlfriend, Michaela. Let's do this, Leroy! 
Well, that was the other thing. Oh, cut that bitch off. Right? Mm-hmm. Cut that bitch off. Oh, cut that bitch off. Cut that bitch off. Next call. To the bong hit. This one says, happy Chinooka, bitches. Today is my best friend and co-worker, Brent, a.k.a. the Helicopter's Dirty 30, to celebrate. I would like to request for him that your penis is too small. One of those Wendy Williams fart burp things. Followed by the dirty Germans talking about being a kitchen manager. Happy birthday, and my friend may be in uh, <laughs> uh, in the snow tonight. That from Ross, the Tacoma <laughs> maintenance man. <laughs> Yeah, you're the restaurant manager. Tonight I will pull down my pants and you can change my grease trap. Yeah, and you can grab onto my ye- yeast snake. <laughs> what do we use to call it? Yeah, what's it we call it? Uh, is that when you clean the lines? Oh, yeah, the, uh, oh, no, not yeast, uh, but yeah, the snake inside of the. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Miles. You've never seen the inside of those beer lines. Yeah, when you change the kegs, you know, you have to clean out those lines. Mm-hmm. It is gross and stinky and green. Looks like a big old, just big, nasty. Uh, guys, happy birthday to the beautiful uh, Whitney Hill. She is turning uh, 30-something, and she could use some encouragement from Captain Crunch and maybe some Ozzy Ted. Well, there's nothing wrong with turning 30 years old. I would say climb aboard with a good old captain, and I'll show you what inspired both the texture and the appearance of Crunch Berries. Pink and dry. Crunch Berries. Hey, Teddy from Melbourne. And you know, that drunken captain over there, hey. he's on to something. These old berries are looking a lot the same down under. <laughs> Small, pink, dry. <laughs> all the naked ladies, auto wish my shop foreman Jake, a.k.a. Snake, a.k.a. Rattle. Hey, happy 35th birthday. How about the dirty Germans talking about, hey, he's going to use all his big tools to fix those uh, big, dirty, greasy, white freight liners. Uh, thanks, guys, from his favorite S-Birds in S-Bird Cove. Yeah, first of all, the greasy white stuff. We, he has a name. It is Ted. He is also one of the dirty Germans. Yeah, and you only need one tool for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> a shaman. See, <laughs> <laughs> so I have to figure out what you got to do with it. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe tonight he needs another tool. So he's biscuits so he can lick some feet. Oh, yeah, toe us. sucking. Yeah. Same time. I don't know you. I trade you the biscuits and licks the feet. But y'all, hope you all are having a good one. Can y'all wish uh, one of my friend uh, Connor a happy birthday with a turtle wax and a fish sandwich? And maybe if it's not too much, maybe can Coach Ted give him some encouragement uh, on uh, getting another canine companion? His wife would appreciate that. I'll thank you guys for being awesome. Big fan. That from Andre. What's this guy's name? Uh, his name is Connor. I'll have a fish sandwich. Can I buy you a fish sandwich? All right, I don't know if Andre's the wife or Andre's a buddy. Could be Andrea. Maybe she goes by Andre. But Connor, listen here, man. I know what they want me to do. They want me to tell you to get another dog. And listen, Coach Smith loves dogs. But what I won't do is pressure a man into getting a dog he doesn't want because the wife wants one. I've seen it too many times. You know what happens. Next thing you know, you're walking two dogs. You're picking up two dogs worth of poop. Does that seem fun to you, Connor? I don't know. Maybe your wife will let you make this decision. Sounds like you already have. That's a one-dog household. Hola, Maniacs. It's my birthday today. My family's too lame and my friends can't work a computer. So here you go. Long-time listener since the buzz days. Oh, uh, your show gets me through my 14 plus hour days. Humping Jeez. groceries out of the truck. Seriously, you guys are the best. Shout out to Dr. Jones, not an actual doctor, more of an honorary title. A uh, huge thanks to my awesome wife who puts up with my impossible work schedule. I love you, Kate. Could I get an original fish sandwich and a happy Chinooka? Thanks for all you do from uh, brother in law. Thanks, Randy. We miss you. Do I get a fish sandwich? Happy Chinooka. Bitches, today's my 39th trip around the sun. Could I please get some advice from Coach Ted about being happy and to suck it up? And stop being depressed all the time. Thank you, gentlemen, from your loyal listener, Randy. All right, Randy, you know the first thing Coach could tell you. Probably get some help, man. Can't just turn that switch off. You need to turn it off. You need to go talk to somebody. Now, with that said, Coach does have some other advice, too. Sometimes the world's not always against you. 
Sometimes it's against all of us. Misery loves company. But what you need, you need a friend. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a pen pal. Maybe to write a dude in prison. Then it's... <laughs> Best advice ever. <laughs> it makes me feel better. Sure, he's got three squares, three hots and a cot. But come on, Randy, buck up now. And also, it'll be easier because it's going to get warmer. The sun's going to be out. Oh, let's just say it's my special birthday. Shout out to my buddy Kirk. He is uh, 40 today. Could you please give him some turtle wax and now hitting the window? Ed, Mickey, and Goofy talking about how 40 is the new 20. Enjoy your day, buds. Thanks, gentlemen. That from Big Time. There's no doubt in the 40s, the new 20, except you have a beer belly, but there's more hair. There's none of it on top of your head. But otherwise, you feel just the same. You just look like crap. I mean, listen, next year to tell you 40 is the new 20, 30, whatever. 40's a great age. Everybody's doing it. I feel you. Also, down at the park, we like 40. As a lot of those people are parents, and they spend a lot of money here. Guys, I want to wish my father-in-law, Carl, a happy 50th. Can I get a your penis is too small? And some dirty Germans talking about turning the big 5-0. Uh, thanks, guys. That from your longtime listener, Riley. No, oh, when you turn 50 years old, I like to make it like money, you know, American currency, which will make you the 50 cent piece, which makes you JFK. Tell him you put the F in JFK. What was he, the silver dollar? I don't remember. Yes, I'm not so sure. <laughs> we don't even have that over here in Germany. Mm -hmm. So I'm impressed with your knowledge of the American Yeah, that's money. why I use American currency. <laughs> Seems to go to the exchange. So oh, he's turning 50, huh? So yeah, these things happen. But it's so halfway there. So not over the hill yet. All right, guys, here you go. Happy, 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 happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you, to you, to you. Yaz, a dirty Germans, brought to you by Men's Room Original Sausage. Available through Uli's world famous sausage, mensroomlive.com, and other fine retailers. Mmm, <laughs> Schweinefly. Thank you, Bob. We appreciate it. Coming up in just minutes here, we will drink and toast into the weekend with a shot of the day. But first, I think we need to go back in time to the last time we played Ted versus the FCC. So if we could, let's go back in time. 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 Fuddruckers' trucks are filled with crisp, sipping schlitz. The sipping Schlitz sit in a pat and sit in pallets for the Fuddruckers trucker to ship. Sometimes the Fuddrucker trucker receives a tip of crisp sipping Schlitz <laughs> after a long trip of shipping crisp sipping Schlitz. Three shots fast. <clears throat> Fuddruckers trucks are filled with crisp sipping Schlitz. The sipping Schlitz sit in pallets for the Fuddruckers truck to ship. Sometimes a Fuddrucker trucker receives a tip of crisp shipping slits after a long uh, after a long trip of shipping crisp sipping schlitz. One. Fuddrucker's trucks are filled with crisp sh slipping schlitz. The sipping slits sit in pallets for the Fuddrucker trucker to ship. Sometimes a Fuddrucker trucker receives a tip of crisp sipping schlitz after a long trip of shipping crisp. Sipping Schlitz. Two. Fuddruckers trucks are filled with crisp sipping Schlitz. The sipping Schlitz sit and pallets of the Fuddruckers truck to ship. Sometimes a Fuddrucker trucker receives a tip of crisp sipping Schlitz after a long trip of shipping crisp sipping Schlitz. Oh my God. Oh my God. Big win in Ted versus the FCC last time. Let's do it again. And now, everyone's favorite daytime game show where one person could lose three hundred. $125,000 and their job or win and walk away with nothing. Uh, it's time uh, for Ted versus yeah. the FCC. Uh, you know yeah. what's going to happen. You know exactly what's going to happen. Worked our ass off last night. Come oh, this yeah. morning. Here we go. Listener submitted Ted versus you every time. Every time. All we want to do is work. You know? <laughs> and then we come in. And as you know, with listener submitted Ted versus the FCC, the listener always comes first. So we're going to take one here from Zach. He sends us a nice email. And he says, hey, guys, 
Here is my Ted versus the FCC submission. And uh, Ted, unlike uh, last week's Ted versus the FCC, which was a little bit longer, this one's more on the shorter side. All but right. Still a little bit of a challenge. And it goes something like this, and it's about Carrie, and Carrie is going hunting, okay? Oh, Carrie is. Yes, huh? Carrie is going yeah. on a yeah. hunt. Uh huh. So, Crazy Carrie's hunt was a cold, clammy hunt. A cold, quick hunt it was. A pull of the trigger ended the cold, clammy hunt. The way we do 10 mm. versus the FCC is you need to read that one time through, then three times fast. Crazy Carrie's hunt was a cold, clammy hunt. <laughs> a quick, a cold, quick hunt it was. A pull of the trigger ended the cold, clammy hunt. Hunt. Three times fast. Crazy Carrie's hunt was a cold, clammy hunt. A, a qu quick, cold hunt it is. A pull of the trigger ended the cold, clammy hunt. One. Crazy Carrie's hunt was a cold, clammy hunt. A quick, cold hunt it is. A pull of the trigger ended the cold, clammy hunt. Two. Crazy Carrie's hunt is a cold, clammy hunt. A cold, quick hunt it is. Pull of the trigger ended the cold, clammy hunt. Oh, the win! It. Another big win at Ted versus the FCC. You are listening to the men's room. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. GEICO asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, GEICO can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners' or renters' coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance, and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit UMGC.edu. Certified to operate by CHEV. 99.9 KISW and KISW HD1 Seattle. Coming up in just minutes, we will drink, we will toast into the weekend. And we do have your headlines on the way one hour from now. But first, quick check out with Mike Hawk and some of the stories and headlines he is not working on. All right, a new study found that if you want to live on the moon, your mortgage would be something to the effect of $325,000 a month. A, a month. month. Oh, a month. month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they have great beaches. I'm just kind of wondering how they can basically establish that. It's not like the moon's in a good neighborhood. It's not like it's in a, in a desirable part of real estate. I mean, you're away from everything. Everything's a, uh, you know, what, two-month... Or, or ten hour drive. I don't know what it is. How long it takes to you get mean, on the moon? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know to get from the moon to like the nearest grocery store. Like, how do you justify three hundred and twenty five? Well, that's that's, that's the money. They're probably like a shuttle every three months. It's got to come up and right. you know drop that stuff off. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. Exactly. No, thank I, you. I, I mean, no, I would visit there gladly, but like live. Uh, no. Right. How many roommates do you need to afford that more? <laughs> Your body would be so debilitated by the time you get back to Earth. Yeah, that's true. Of gravity. Oh, like not guys me, on the International Space Station. They no. come back down. Takes them like three months to learn how to walk. I'm just gonna sit there and I'm just gonna you know pop in my UFC Fit tape and I'm just gonna crank it out. P90X Fit on the moon. <laughs> yeah, right. It'd be a lot easier. Hell yeah, it would. I like the idea. These pull-ups are easy. Oh man. Oh, that's good. Call. Be a wild man. Right. Well, not only that, if you run out of food, you just go out front and uh, cut off a hunk of cheese. That's true. That's right. The moon is, in fact, made of cheese. Cheese so farm, All the baby. food you can eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a video of someone on spring break fleeing from a cop car while his hands are cuffed behind his back. I actually did see this video. He's arrested. I don't know for whatever reason. He's a dumbass kid at spring break on a beach. He's shirtless. He's doing something that's getting him arrested. The thing is that there's a mob of people all around this cop car and these two cops that are doing it. They leave the, the, the car. I don't know if they're going to go arrest somebody else. I don't know if they're just going to monitor the situation. But then just a mysterious arm comes out of nowhere and opens the side of the door. 
and then this guy just takes off running. He sprints down the beach. Yeah, yeah. I'd be yeah. right there with him, man. Even with a video, though, Florida is a strange world where it seems that COVID does not exist. No, no. Like, you look at what's going on there; it's like nothing has ever changed in Florida. <laughs> exactly, it's the same. It is you know its own like in spring space. break still. Like, it's yeah, crazy. it's crazy. It's like living on the moon. The mortgage is three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars a month. That guy did not make it very far. No, he did not. He did get caught. Even with the mob of people that ran with him. Like, at least the cops know the general direction of where he went, but he was surrounded by other people that looked fairly similar to him. But it's also just, like, it's going to be hard to get off the beach when you're in handcuffs. Fair. Yeah, yeah but I, mean, I like his spirit. That's that, right. It sticks out. It does. Yeah. The, Even in Florida. <laughs> those aren't chains on his, on his wrists there. Not to mention, the thing is, is that if you're going to flee the cops after you've been put under arrest, you better get away. Just because that charge ramps up quite a bit more after the catch. <laughs> right. What I read was there was a fight or something. So I'm with you. Like, and throw. I get everybody's point. Like, I get it. He's like, sure. oh, screw it. I'm running this and that. But, Mike, I also agree with you. Like, oh, man, they're going to hit you with a couple extra charges oh, man. that aren't going to be fun. Uh, they called, will, but I'm taking my chance. That's called a felony, buddy. Mike, I've got an update for you. Talk to me. On our, uh, our red lobster color. Oh, yes. The uh, seaside shrimp trio, we were all wrong. Oh, no. Yes. Really? It is, in fact... Some fried shrimp. Okay. Oh, that's one. Yeah. It also has the handcrafted garlic shrimp scampi. All right. That's two. Handcrafted. Then creamy shrimp linguine alfredo. Oh, I'm is in. the third option. Ah, All right. In, so man. we were completely wrong on that. But either way, it sounds fantastic. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, American Airlines had a flight delayed for eight hours because their crew got robbed on the way to the airport. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good work. They were just getting their baggage fees back. <laughs> Uh, there's a man in Ontario that was caught pleasuring himself while covered in oil. Hmm. You yeah. might know him, Miles. Mm. I do. He might be goofy. Oh, no. It's obviously goofy. He's covered in oil. <laughs> there's a dog in New York that was at a shelter for 444 days. That's amazing. And Damn. was finally adopted. I'm, I'm right there with you, Miles. That is, that's a fact. Normally, that doesn't happen. Right. Did they yes. say why he was there so long? Was it ugly? Was it mean? Uh, it just says that he was there for that long. You know, the typical reason why dog doesn't get adopted. I mean, I'm sure that there's a lot of others that would probably make that same time frame if other factors weren't a part of it. Okay. But, yeah, 444 and they got adopted. So, Damn. cheers to them. Uh, someone stole a Ronald McDonald statue from outside a restaurant in Michigan. I know. It was one of those really iconic ones that... Uh, where we're sitting, sitting on, on the, the bench. bench. So they cut the section of the bench out with a oh, saw. Dang. And they took the, the bench that was attached <laughs> to the backside and the back of him with him. That's going to be a collectible Sunday. I mean... You're going to have those yeah, guys. The thing had been there, it was like one of those McDonald's that had been there since like the uh, late 60s, early 70s. Right. right. So it's like that iconic thing. It's yeah, like man. somebody stealing Big Boy. Exactly. You know, but it was. I'd steal a Big Boy. But it was <laughs> Ronald <Yeah>. McDonald. <laughs> so somewhere on somebody's couch sits Ronald McDonald. That's right. That's his, that's his TV buddy. Nobody's going to keep that quiet. Ronnie's got Ronald <laughs> McDonald on his couch. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. That, you can't. Yeah. But I'm also with Thrill. I wouldn't do that to a Ronald McDonald. That seems crazy. Someone's going to sit a big boy? Yes. Big boy. Oh, yeah. Someone's going to sit next to it, get their picture taken, right? Put it up on Facebook. Yep. And they're, they're going to say, where'd you get that? Yeah, exactly. It's good also go. seems amazing. You could use a saw on, like, that kind of thing, and nobody noticed you. Yeah, I mean, that's... That had to be an electric tool, right? Mm. Oh, for sure, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. There's a town in Ukraine attempting to change its name to New York in an effort to change its luck. All right. I'm not well. That that's a well thought out plan. Well, okay. the thing is, is that you know, if it's got a desirable name, maybe you'd be more apt to go to it. I'm not positive, but I guess, also I mean, like we stole names. Like, damn, they can name it New York. Yeah, go or for New it. New York. I was about there to say, go. should they new go New New York? New York? I can, new New. I can call my brute Dom Perignon. That doesn't make it Dom Perignon. <laughs> <laughs> These are facts. <laughs> champagne. There's a restaurant in Taiwan offering free sushi dinner to anyone that legally changes their name to Salmon. They've actually already had a, over 100 people do it. Really? Yeah, I'll just call me Sal. Yeah, why not? Ah, there you go. Not a bad call. Salmon. Or Mon. Yeah, All right. Go by Mon. Gentlemen, it's no surprise that the people in this room are human. We made mistakes on several occasions, and the listeners have informed us when such moments arise. We actually just had one not too long ago about the, uh, the shrimp platter there. But given that we're on a public platform, it behooves us to retract certain statements that are made on this show if they're made in error. And on that note... I do have a handful of corrections for oh, you guys. Are you right? Right? Oh, right. These are corrections. Can't wait to find out who was wrong. From the week. On Wednesday, the statement was made by Steve the Thrill Hill that Wendy Williams had been caught farting on live television a year ago. Yeah. It has come to our attention that according to Miss Williams, that was not a fart. Oh, according to Miss Williams. Okay. Correct. Yes. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And a burp at the same time? 
No, no, no. The, the, the burping fart is good. Yeah. That one right there. Yeah, that was legit. But okay. the, the one from a year ago was not a, what is that, an oh, actual fart. Oh, gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Thursday on Big Dummy, the question was, who played the manager of the struggling baseball team in the movie Moneyball? The answer that we gave was Brad Pitt. Mm-hmm. Correction. It was Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh, damn it. Brad Pitt played the... Uh, the, the uh, remember I said that? I was like, I know Brad Pitt was in the movie, but I don't remember him right. being the manager. The actual manager. Because he wasn't. Uh, Mike, I have one from Wednesday. Oh, what you got for me? Our very own Miles Montgomery. We were talking about a man who set a record for drinking a Capri Sun. And then Miles went on a, not a tirade, but just saying that you can't buy drinks and smaller. Yeah, yeah. Oh, correct. Oh, dang. You, have- you specifically said grape juice. Yes. Well, there's a small oh, grape whoa. juice. Oh, <laughs> Get out of here. So they do sell them for a dollar. Get out of here. Enjoy your juice. I Thank love you. It. They sell it downstairs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was like, dude, they're right here. There it is. You dumbass. They're <laughs> <laughs> having every flavor. I want a Capri Sun now. We're on the topic of uh, mispronunciations here. I believe I, I believe it was Miles that referred to the animal as the garter Jesus, snake. Why is it all about me now? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're wrong, Miles. G A R D E R, garter snake. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It's I said gardener or garder. It is pronounced. You said garder. Okay. It is the gardener, gardener snake. Gardener. Right. Okay. It's okay. out there. It's tending gotcha, your garden. Gotcha. It is not wrapped that around your sense. thigh. Sure. <laughs> I was just thinking positive there, brother. <laughs> we also Garner. did get that uh, the Monopoly man does not, in fact, wear a monocle like Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Peanut. Mr. Peanut. All right. I thought he did, man. That is called the Mandela effect. We all believe that it happened, but it did not. Mm-hmm. So. Wow. And then uh, on fi- uh, finally, on Mondays, your guess is as good as mine. The statement was made by Miles Montgomery that John Entwist, Jesus. bassist for The Who, had died in Vegas with, quote, hookers and cocaine. Mm-hmm. We've received word from the young lady that was actually there in his final moments and has corrected us, saying that she was not a hooker. She was a stripper and well-known oh, rock okay. groupie. Ah, She was okay. not a hooker. So okay. There we go. All right. Now then, on to more heavier stuff here. A new survey found our least favorite chores to do around the house. And lucky for you guys, I have the top ten right here. So what are our least favorite chores to do around the house? Folding the laundry. Folding yes. laundry. I am with Ted. Any here. other guesses? Uh, I think, in my mind, cleaning the bathroom. Cleaning the because bathroom. It's the toilet. Oh. It's, the, uh, it's the bathtub. It's the surround. That's right. It's the sinks. There's just a lot of work involved. Okay, so here are our least favorite chores around the house. Number ten, wiping down the kitchen counters. That's easy. My lady would tell you that that's probably one of my least favorites just because I don't do it near as much as she'd like me to. I do it every time I get done just doing anything in the kitchen. You definitely should, Miles. (laughs) (laughs) I do it because it's easy. Right. Yes. I agree, man. Just wet down a rag. It'd be nice if I could just wet a rag, wipe it down, and then put the rag back in the sink. But no, then it gets ugly, and we have to throw it into the laundry. Anyway, these are our least favorite uh, chores around the house. Number nine, taking out the trash. 5% of people said that that was their least favorite. Uh, it depends. I mean, if it's like taking out the trash on trash day, yes. Right. Just taking the trash from my kitchen outside, I'm all right. But when I start stuffing things into the top to push right. it down, I'm like, no one's going to take this out but me. I exactly. can keep pushing it right. down, but eventually i got to take this damn thing out. And actually, I don't mind taking out the trash. My problem is the recycling because the apartment that I have, the trash is there just a short jaunt from my apartment, but they they have limited recycling spots. So I have to walk, you know... 200 yards to find the so, nearest recycling like exor- spot. Like exercise? Work? Yes, Miles. I understand. I'm a fat guy and I can't walk as far as Come everybody on. else. It's just it's a pain in the Come ass on. is the thing. It's just I have to commit to walking yeah. that far. So that's all For it is. For something you already don't feel What if like it was doing? a weed store? Right. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I'd, I'd, there, I'd, no I'd problem. I'd I got a weed like store like 200 it's yards away. Right it's so it's close. So close man. Oh, my God. I mean, what do you need? Hell yeah. <laughs> The trash one is just the only one I don't care. Right. It stinks up the house. It's oh, nasty. no, I was just saying, that to me, that just as a kid, my whole life, that has just been the easiest one. Hell yeah. Right. Uh, if they'd asked you to do something, like, yes, I yes, got it. Right, like, trash. sure. The whole place is a mess, but the trash is out. <laughs> These are our least favorite chores around the house. Number eight, organizing or picking up clutter. Another 5%. Yeah, I'm just sick of it because the kids leave everything everywhere. Do you know where my... I do know where it is. Do you know where you left it? Now... It's every day, oh, dang. all the time. <laughs> dang it, I think I got the correction wrong. Because I'm getting all kinds of texts saying that it actually is the garter snake and not the gardener. So maybe that was the what the screw up was. Oh, I wrote it down wrong. Maybe I said gardener then. Well, there so you wait, you have to remember. correct your own correction? I right, have I'm to correct my correction it's here. It's a oh. garter snake. The misconception is that it's a garden. So, all right, let's, I'm just going to look. Okay. 
Yeah, there you go. I got to do some research. Snake. That'd be a good thing to do here. Yep. These are our least favorite chores around the house. Number seven is vacuuming. I actually like vacuuming. The I part that I don't like about vacuuming is the fact that my dog freaks out, so I can't do it without some peace and quiet. But honestly, I love putting the marks on the on the carpet there. Yeah. It just I feel better walking around well, my apartment easy. when those carpets are clean. Yeah. It's also like a completion. You can see what you've done. It's like cutting grass. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're done yeah. with it, you. you there's a sense of satisfaction. I like the vacuum, Absolutely. and I like looking at the tube to see just how right. much crap I'm sucking. And you sucked cannot up. believe it. Exactly. And I like, I like, put, like it smells nice. I always put down that carpet stuff. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's man. a good idea. That's like, when you, ha- when you smell that, it's like, all right, let's get to Saturday drinking. This is done. It's like yeah. a bounce dryer sheet. Uh, our least favorite bounce drawers, down. chores around the house, tied for number five with 10%. Uh, sweeping or mopping the floors being one. That one's a little bit more cumbersome than just vacuuming. Sweeping, I don't mind. Mopping is like, ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, and Mop, the, mop it's tough. And then the other one is <laughs> ironing. 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 Well, thank God we don't have to do that this year. Yeah, right. I mean, where are you going to go? I don't know the last thing I ironed, yeah. to be honest with you. I mean, even if you go to a funeral, who are you going to see? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Seriously. Honestly, I lived off the fact that I had a jacket over my dress shirt, so I didn't have to... I That's all the that real much. thing, right? <laughs> but have you ever ironed all of your clothes before you put them on to go out? All of the, like, yeah, like top to bottom. I mean, your pants and your shirt. Yeah, it, it's fantastic. Yeah, you look better. I, I have feel a better. You're more white, white t-shirts. You feel better. I mean, honest to God, like you go out, like you're like I'm looking good. Exactly. Even if you're not, I feel like if I'm ironing a shirt right before I go out, I'm in a hotel. Yep. Yeah. Or wearing a robe while you're doing it. <laughs> Least favorite chores around the house. Number four, dusting. Yeah. I think it's, it's just cumbersome. Right. It just because you got to run around the house real quick and make sure that. And if you vacuumed beforehand, now you got to vacuum again because <laughs> you've knocked all the dust out on the ground. And then we have a three-way tie for the first place of the least favorite chores around the house. All right. Ted, you were right. Doing laundry is one of the number one answers. Okay. Yeah. Miles, you were right. Cleaning the bathroom cool. is one of the number one it answers. Sucks. Do you guys know the third number one answer for our least favorite chore around the house? It's another one. It's right up there. Dishes? Ted, you nailed it. Doing the dishes. Really? Yeah. I'll take the dishes out of those three any day. And for the record, doing laundry is fine. It's folding Holding. that damn Holding stuff. I live out of the way, basket. As far as the dishes go, I put everything in the dishwasher, except for pots and pans and things like that. Yeah. But when I put them in there, I wipe them all down. They're clean when they go in the dishwasher. I don't know why I do. Right. But I do. It's I'm like, the huh? same way. But I think it's just the way I was raised. Yeah. My father, same. I always remember these words. Steven, because I would just take my dinner plate, put it right in the dishwasher, as per requested. But dishwashers were not as good back then. But he'd sure. pull out my plate, it's just covered in crap, and he'd always say, it's a dishwasher. Not a miracle worker. <laughs> Rinse your goddamn blade off. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I clean them, but, like, I'm not crazy. Like, right, they, right. I mean, I just, you know, just rinse them, them off a little bit. Exactly. By the way, it is garter snake. Oh, uh, my bad. Yes. There we go. We've corrected yes. it. Friday corrections. I'm right. We made it happen. I'm All right. In. Authorities in Maryland found a man printing counterfeit money because of what he bought. What he bought? I'll tell you all about it one hour from now. Thank you, Mike Hawk. Headlines are on the way one hour from now. But first, every minute to the weekend and drinking time.